So we're going to program a Stealth 80. For after we have it mounted to the pole, we're going to want to make sure we come and press the power button for every three to five seconds. The default mode will be 50% power. It should blink, go off, and then come on into its mode. No problem. Okay, it's pretty bright. Now in that mode, you may want to remember that our light bars are adjustable. So all you have to do is take your eight millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the bolts on both sides, and you can adjust that light bar anywhere if you feel that you need light. Now we've adjusted it to where it's more of a down light. We can change the mode again to go to 30% power. And you're going to use this mode if you're not out there very often, you want a longer run time. And then you would go to 100% power when you detected motion. And all we have to do is take our remote, press it to sensor mode. It's going to adjust, it's going to shut off, go back into sensor mode. It's going to come on to 100% power. We're going to walk away for a few seconds. It'll come down. You'll see about how bright it is. We're down to 30%. It's gone back up to 100%. So it's very convenient if you're not always out on a pathway or out in your parking lot and you want to conserve some energy because you're in northern climates like Chicago or Washington State or Maine, then you can always go back to your constant lighting mode, 50% dust to dot. Or you can just turn it off. It'll blink three times and then you know it's off. So if you're really not sure what you need, Solar Lighting International has the ability to really help you out. We can provide photometrics, and we can take um, your plat or whatever project you have using Google Earth, zoom in, superimpose it on top of a map, superimpose our lights and light output depending on your pole height, provide you schematics, and everything you'll need to submit to a city and or Department of Transportation for their review.